All right, everybody, welcome back to Incredible Science. How are you all doing? You probably have seen this toy in a store. Well, it's actually a little science experiment. Now, focus here. I want to give it a spin, and when you spin it, just like that, you see a little tornado in the bottle. Well, it's more like a vortex. It's actually soap, spinning soap. And in a different video, I once showed you how to make this. You could search for a tornado in a jar, and you see how you can make your own tornado. Let's talk about the science behind it, and I'm actually going to get to a different version that you can make at home, one I've never showed you before, and it's super simple, and it'll probably cost you 10 cents. So, talk about the science of water and air coming in and out of a bottle. When you flip a bottle upside down, it takes some time for it to just empty, because as you see, the air is coming up and the water is going down. It alternates, it takes turns. That's what the glug, glug, glug sound is, and you have to wait and wait for it to come out. But you could have a race with a friend of yours because now you know the secret. I'm gonna tell you, this is the quickest way to empty a bottle. Give it a spin when it's upside down, and then you're gonna get a circular vortex action. The air is gonna be able to come through the middle, and the water is gonna be able to shoot through the sides and not have to take a turn with the air. Watch, three, two, one. Look how quick that's emptying, and look at that vortex. Air is coming straight up in the middle. The water is going out from the sides. That was epic. Now, let's turn that into a tornado tube in a jar. Now, I'm sure you've seen my video with these connector tubes. We've made colored versions, we've made regular versions in it, but a 10 and 11 year old kid actually came up with this invention, a science toy, and it's sold millions of these. Now, connect the bottle with this connector tube, same as this one, it's just a different color, and flip it over, give it a spin, and it's gonna do the same, well, we have to make sure it's tightened first, and it's gonna do the same thing, look at that tornado, the same thing that our bottle that I emptied just did. But here, the water doesn't go everywhere. It just goes to the bottom tube. And then you just repeat it. Again, just flip it upside down. Make sure the connector tube is tight. Flip it upside down. Give it a spin and you'll see the tornado form as it goes down. How cool is that? But we wanted to do something else besides for making a tornado in a tube that I'm sure you guys have seen. I wanted to make a colored version, and I wanted to make a version that you can do without having to have this piece, because not everybody has that piece. Yes, it's not expensive, but not everybody can get it. Not everybody knows where to get it, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own version. But I'm also gonna show you how to make a colored version of it. So let me show you something interesting about food coloring and about oil. Here we're gonna have a cup of water, and in here, we're gonna have some oil. Clear lamp oil is what you need. You don't need so much water. Now, watch what happens when I add food coloring to the water. And then mix it around. Our water is now blue. But, watch what happens when I add food coloring, even a few drops, to the lamp oil. It just sits there on the bottom, and it's not coloring the lamp oil. I'm even mixing it around. Nothing's happening because the food coloring is water-based, and water and oil don't mix. So, you have two options. Option number one, ready? We're gonna use colored lamp oil. Now, we're gonna put this in one of our bottles. Let's fill up our bottle with water, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna color the oil. So let's put this, fill this up mostly with water. Say about half the bottle. Should be good. And then we're gonna add some of the clear lamp oil. Now this is how you make a colorful tornado vortex in a bottle. A vortex is more water-based and a tornado is air, but it looks like a tornado, so we call it a tornado. You don't want too much of the oil because you want to have room for the water and oil to be independent of each other so that you could see the tornado in the jar, in the bottle. Just a little more, perfect. All right, and now we are gonna use special lamp-based coloring, not food coloring, lamp-based coloring. It's so powerful that when I just put a couple of drops in, look what it did to the oil. It just 
colored the oil and it did not color the water at all. Now we're talking because now we could connect our connector tube. And yes, I will show you how to do it without a connector tube. Put the second bottle on and get ready to see your colorful vortex tornado. In three, two, one. There it is, the blue tornado in a bottle. Now you're asking me, hey, I may not have that piece, what do I do? Well the answer is 10 cents in your hardware store. This little washer right over here does the same exact thing that this tube does. Let's open this bottle a second and I'll show you. You wanna just shake a little bit of the oil that gets clogged in the hole and there you have it ready to go again. Let me show you what this tornado tube looks like and then you'll understand why a washer is perfect for this experiment. Look at the tornado tube. What do you see? A little, a little hole. Just like this washer. Just a little hole. You wanna constrict the space that it has to go through. So all you need to do is put that washer on top of the bottle, put the second bottle on top, and just put duct tape around it, and we're gonna have our same colorful tornado in a bottle without this piece. Let me show you. Here, I've put the washer on top again, put the other bottle on top of the washer, tie it up nice and tight, That first turn is so important because if that's tight, then the rest will be tight. If that's not tight, no matter how tight you do the rest of it, it's gonna leak. So make sure that first turn is super tight and it'll help to be tight if you dry the bottle. Some people like hot gluing it before, but I don't think you need to. It's if you get the tape just right. All right, your own tornado in a bottle just for a 10 cent washer, bottles you can get anywhere. People drink soda, seltzer all the time, just instead of throwing it out, use it. And duct tape you may have lying around your house. Here we go, three, two, one. And our colored tornado in a bottle using a washer and some duct tape. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.